It's so good to be here at MKATE! Yeah! I'm new here, but I'm glad to be here. Well, shouldn't we get started? Yes, 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 let's get started! Yay! I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love for my savior, I've got love for my savior, I've got love for my savior in my soul. I've got love for my savior, I've got love for my savior, I've got love for my savior in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got peace like a river, I've got love for my savior in my soul. Happy New Year, Lola! Happy, happy, Doc! So, what are you going to do this year? 2021! Sounds like a movie! What do you mean? I don't know. I will probably go to school. Oh, you're excited? Well, um, I'm not sure. 2020 was strange and weird. I'm just playing hard. It feels as if I've just got to know my teacher and my friends. Now everything has to change again. I know. Uh, but it's a new year. It can be awesome! Or not. Who knows? I understand how you feel, Lola. But we know that Jesus is with us every day. It is sometimes difficult to remember that. And it still is difficult sometimes. But it is there, and that makes it better. And you know what? What? He has a plan. Nothing catches him by surprise. And we can work with him and build and dream about the plan. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Sounds like something I can work with. Jesus understands how you feel in the beginning of the year and he helps you to face new things. He shows you how to do new things and is excited about you that he wants to show and give you new things, even if it's difficult sometimes. Oh okay. God, that helps me a little. Great, let's listen to the scripture from the Bible and then to the M kids uncle or auntie. They will explain it even better. Friends, listen closely. It helps to know that Jesus is with you the whole year and through everything. Let's listen. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. Forget what happened long ago. Don't think about the past. I am creating something new. There it is. Do you see it? I have put roads and deserts streams and thirsty lands. God talks to his people who are in exile. Exile means that they were taken away from their country to a strange one after they lost the war. And now they were slaves in a new country they know nothing about. The poor Israelites were working really hard and they were suffering. They couldn't even decide what they want to do or when they want to do it. It was not going well with them. They were not in a good place in their lives. Can you imagine feeling like that? A strange culture, strange country, and on top of that, you're a slave and far away from your own people because of a lot of them had to stay behind as well. 
you miss home, but you can't go back. In this situation, God comes and gives his people this big promise in Isaiah. Now I'm wondering, have you ever felt sad, lonely, and scared? Maybe a little unsure? Especially in the beginning of the year, things can look and feel scary. Have things been so rough and confusing that it's been difficult to remember that Jesus is with you? I felt like that. It's not a nice feeling. The good news is that God is with you in good and bad times, always. He's with you in the beginning of the school year where everything feels strange and you don't even know who your teacher is yet. He's with you when you don't know if you have any friends. He's with you when your parents are fighting or maybe angry. He's with you when nobody is giving you any attention. He's with you when the work is difficult or you have to do a sport that you don't like. He's with you when you're alone during break time because you can't find your friend or because nobody wants to play with you. All of these things can make you feel as if you are walking alone in the desert. But through his word, that's the Bible, God comes to you and helps you to believe that he is with you and that he's thinking and dreaming about you and your future. He is going to do something new. It is about to happen. Nothing can stop it. You can lift your head and take his hand because God has a plan. God is with you and working in your life. It wasn't always a quick plan. But God is always on time. Dream with me for a moment. How do you think God will help you with a new school year? How do you think he will help you with your friends and maybe even new friends? How do you think he will help you with a new work? Are you also excited about everything God is thinking and dreaming about us? He is with us and he does new things. I want to talk to God about this right now and hear all about the things in the coming year that he has planned for us. You can also talk to him by praying and talking to him. Don't you want to pray and talk to God about how he is with you and what new things he is going to do? If you find it difficult to believe that God is close enough to always, always help, Ask God to help you with that as well. He will help you to believe that He is always with you. Hi there friends, let's quickly pray together. Dear God, thank you for guiding us over this Christmas season, for bringing us back safely. And as we stand here, the beginning of the new year, please lead us and guide us and make us sensitive to your presence so that we can follow in your footsteps. Amen.